I haven't been able to complete my assignment. Mr. Roy, our maths teacher will not be happy. Idea. I will have to take many apples for other teachers too. Good morning. What's this basket full of apples doing here? I got them, sir, for all the teachers. But I'm not sure how many apples to give to each teacher. That's simple, Sam. You use division. Allow me to explain. You have 24 apples here for three teachers. So you have to make three equal parts. One, two and three. So that means eight apples for each teacher. This is called division, which means splitting in equal parts or groups. In our example, we write the division expression as 24 divided by 3, with the answer being 8. There are four different ways to write the division expression. This is the first and the second. This is third, which is also called as ratio. And the fourth way is very popular when it comes to solving division problems. In any division expression, we call the number to be divided as dividend. The number that divides as divisor. And the result we get after division as quotient. Now just to get a good grasp, let's divide the number 24 in different parts. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 24 divided by 2 is 12. In all these cases so far, we could divide the 24 apples in exact equal parts. So as in this example, we can say 24 is divisible by 2. Now let's look at 24 divided by 9. Hmm, let's see. With 3 apples in each, we can make 8 groups. But we have to divide 24 in 9 equal parts, don't we? So in order to make 9 equal parts, we get 2 apples exactly in each group. And as you observe, we also get these 6 apples that are left over which is called as the remainder. So if you divide a number by another number to get equal parts but also get some leftovers, the number is said to be not divisible. In our example, 24 is not divisible by 9. Now the way we write the entire division solution is that we first get the number of apples we calculated after dividing in equal parts, which is 18. We write 18 below the dividend and do a subtraction. We get the number 6, which is the number of leftover apples we got. Now let's do a quick recap. We divided 24 by the number 9 to get 2 in each part with 6 as the remainder. Mr. Roy, how is division related to multiplication? Let me explain with an example. We have 9 times 4 as 36. 9 and 4 are factors of 36. And 36 is the multiple. When we divide the number 36 with one of the factors, say 4, we get the answer as the other factor which is 9. The other way around is true as well. Hence we can say that division is opposite of multiplication. Got it Mr. Roy. 
Can you explain what happens if we divide 36 by 0? Good question. We had earlier seen the relationship between multiplication and division. If we have to divide any number by a zero, one of the factors in the multiplication expression also has to be zero. The product in this case will be zero as well, which would mean that the number to be divided would not exist. So division by zero is impossible or is undefined. Thanks Mr. Roy. That was very helpful. I have to get going. Bye. Hey Sam, did you not forget to submit your assignment?